Hello everyone, this is the Cardano Coder, aka Christian, and today I wanted to quickly go over the Ray Network. I'm In my last video I talked about their ISPO, but I wanted to go further into their project because it's pretty promising. So basically, Ray Network is a DeFi ecosystem that covers most of the broad DeFi applications. So down here we can see the Ray Wallet, the staking, the swapping, uh, just like any other DEX. So, and then they add stuff like Raypad, which is similar to something like Card Starter, what they're trying to do, a launch pad for new projects. Ray Graph, which is similar to Chainlink, if you're familiar, where uh, we'll be able to use APIs to get info from the blockchain. And then there's a bunch of these other projects, this NFT Marketplace. Uh, a lot of these are still in heavy development though, so we can't use them quite yet. But going on to the roadmap, all these green ones are things they have completed, and then these holographic cards are what they're currently working on. So once RaySwap and RayPad are out, that, those are two I'm most excited for. They're also working on their NFT marketplace right now. And then you can just look at these other things they're working on. and so they're working on their DAP connector. That's something that I really look forward to because right now there's really only CC Vault and NAMI Wallet for DAPs. And there's still kind of a lot of problems with most of the DAP connections. So I'm hoping Ray Wallet will be better. So that's just the, this is just a quick roadmap. And then going into the ecosystem, just some of their projects. So the first one is Minter, which is an NFT marketplace. I'm not too big into NFTs, but it seems pretty easy to make the NFTs if you want. You just send an ADA to this address, and then you can make it here. Uh, you can mint however many you want. And something that's kind of cool is you can see every every new um, NFT that's being made like by the second, it seems like. Every minute this will update, and we see all these random NFTs right here. Yeah, see, look, 75 DFs was just made, Biotoken, I'm guessing these are from Trip Drops, but uh, top projects, you can see some of the current big projects. So it's still in development, but it's cool to see the NFTs, I guess, even though I'm not too much into it. And then Ray Swap, this is obviously going to be a big one. Right now we only have Sunday Swap and Muesli Swap, and they both are a little clunky, so Ray Swap hopefully is better. Raypad again, a launch pad, this would be cool for new projects. Uh, Raygraph, this would be very helpful for things like websites, because right, like the websites where you can see the current Cardano uh, rankings right now don't really show rankings by market cap, so hopefully this API will provide stuff that we'll be able to access the market caps of coins and we'll have better websites, maybe like a coin micro cap for... Cardano, which would be cool. And then going into their Ray Wallet, their Ray Wallet does seem pretty good. Just here's my wallet. I don't have any ADA in here yet, <clears throat> um, but it does seem to be pretty intuitive and have a lot of good features. So uh, you can stake like always. They, they mainly only advertise their pools, which I guess makes sense. But if you want, you can stake by pool ID. So you go to something like, uh, what is it? pool, what is it, pool.pm or something to find uh, the stake pool ID that you want. Uh, and then you can also see your X-Ray ISPO rewards in here too. But again, I'm not staking yet in this. And then you'll be able to use RaySwap, RaySwap and all these different dApps from this wallet, which will be really nice. And it's not only the Ray Network wallets or Ray Network dApps, it's also stuff like Liquid um, near bridge and I'm sure they'll add more in the future um, but this looks like it'd be a very convenient and well-made uh, wallet and they're also adding stuff like an iOS app an Android app and then a Chrome extension yeah so I'm looking forward to that and going on to the ISPO I mentioned this like I said in my last video but just to cover it again so there the thing I like a lot about X-Ray is their stake pool offering is uh, it lasts for a long time, like until the 500th epoch, and um, you can stake with them for a long time, and 
you'll still keep getting your Cardano reward. So you'll get Cardano and X-Ray, which is really nice because you don't need to think about the risk. If, if like X-Ray fails as a project, you still won't miss out on your normal Cardano rewards. And most ISPOs, you have to give up your Cardano rewards. So right now, um, they're here. Yeah, they're... Their token has been going for a while, and you can see your rewards in the pools right now. If you look at track and withdraw, so I recently delegated with one of my wallets. Right now it says 9 ADA. Since the epoch's not over, it won't show my ADA rewards yet. But um, if once you want to claim them, you'll just send it to an address below, and then you'll return it. But it stacks up for multiple uh, epochs, so you can just claim it in like a year or six months, whenever you want. Then moving on to the tokenomics of Ray Network, it seems to be pretty strong. 25% for the stake pool offering is pretty solid, and then 33% for liquidity providers and investors. This is all like stuff that the public can get. And then they have about 22% for their team, which is kind of a lot, but is relatively low compared to other projects. So still pretty solid. And then moving on to some of the cons about Ray Network. Uh, it seems like they're working on a lot of different projects at once and they only have about seven developers you can see right here. So the thing I'm worried about is they're wor working on too many projects. They don't have enough people or uh, enough like talent to work on all these different projects. So that's my biggest con with this project. And then moving on to like the competition. So right now there's looking at Cardano Cube. There's a lot of different DEXs going live and we really do not know who's going to be the winner in each of these fields and I'm guessing there will only be like two or three top DEXs and the rest will kind of just fade out so yeah it'll be hard to know who's the winner because we're so early in Cardano uh, smart contracts but this is an exciting time and yep thanks for watching.